Premiere Pro lets you see a full screen timeline by tapping the tilde key on your keyboard and then toggle back to your standard view with just another tap of the tilde key. It's that key up next to number one. Well, guess what? You can do the same thing in DaVinci Resolve when working with two monitors. And I also have two other quick timeline tips to make your life a little bit easier working on the edit page. Full screen timeline. So to see your timeline fill up an entire screen using the drop down menus, it's a two step process. Go to workspace, dual screen, and click to turn it on. Then go back up to workspace, dual screen, and now you can turn on full screen timeline. That's great, right? Well, you can make this a lot more Premiere like by setting all this to a single shortcut by going up to the DaVinci Resolve drop down to open keyboard customization. Click in the search box for the word full screen. And here you're gonna see there isn't a key assigned to this command yet. So click in the keystroke column until it's outlined in orange and tap that tilde key. You're gonna get a warning that the tilde key is already assigned to the undo command. That's okay. Click assign and now search for undo. And you're gonna see you have two commands for undo. There's command Z, that makes more sense to me, and tilde. Just click the X next to tilde for the undo edit command and all the conflicts of reused keyboard shortcuts, that's all fixed. Now you're gonna see the asterisk next to the keyboard set in the upper right, which means you should probably save this as a new keyboard setup. Click save, give it a name, something like, like this keyboard tip, like, like it on this YouTube video, <laughs> and click okay. Close the keyboard customization window, and now you can tap the tilde key to toggle a full screen timeline on one monitor and all of your windows that aren't your timeline on the other. Tap tilde again, and you're back to seeing your viewer above the timeline. Duplicate timeline. You might know that you can make a copy of your sequence by right clicking and choosing duplicate timeline in a media pool bin, but did you know you can quickly assign this to a keyboard shortcut to work much faster? Open up keyboard customization again, but this time use command option K, which is actually the keyboard shortcut to create keyboard shortcuts. That's command option K on a Mac, and I think it's control alt K on a PC. Now search for the word duplicate. And for the longest time, I'd look here and see there's no duplicate timeline option. Well, there is, but it's disguised as duplicate item. Click in the field for duplicate item, and I like to use option or alt D, click save, and then close. Now you can duplicate versions of all your timelines all day long with option D. I do this every time I wanna iterate on a new idea and send a video out for client notes because then I have a reference back to what their notes are based on as I continue working on a newer version and waiting on them to get back to me. And a super pro tip here is to ensure that you never rename a timeline outside of your project. Don't rename it after you've exported it. Make them match back so that anyone can backtrack to an exported video. Finder to timeline. Want to get a clip onto the timeline as fast as possible? You can drag any media clip directly from the finder to the timeline. Dragging to the timeline is going to import that footage into your currently selected bin from when you dragged it. This process can be so much faster than going up to file, import, media, and then navigating to it. Hey, thank you so much for sticking around until the end. I'm Chadwick, and I love showing the little DaVinci Resolve tricks here on Creative Video Tips. If you learned anything new today, please help another person find this video too by giving it a like. And because there's so much more to learn, I'll see you in that next video. Thank you so much for watching.